All right, this is a um really interesting report. You know what? I should probably chuck my Cavaliers hat on because we're talking about some more Cleveland Cavalier news today. And for those of you who haven't heard about this by now, there is a big report going out that the Cavaliers are one of the biggest teams that are interested in potentially trading for Cam Reddish. This report is being said by Chris Haynes. He also says that the Dallas Mavericks are another team who are really interested in potentially trying to trade for Cam Reddish as well. Now, this is a really interesting one because as a Cavaliers fan, I think we were very, very linked to Cam Reddish not so long ago. If I really remember right, I think Cam Reddish was on the Cavaliers' radar and was listed as a potential player we could trade for before the Karis LeVert situation happened, and of course, before the New York Knicks ended up pouncing on him as well. So this was a very, like, uh, I think a long-weighted thing that has kind of been, yeah, uh, been mentioned for quite a while now. It's not like something that's come out of nowhere saying that the Cavaliers are interested in him. They were interested in him last year as well. And considering his price is literally crazy, like, it's literally nothing. Like, the Knicks don't want... To have him on the team anymore and i understand why but also the price tag on this guy is not very much apparently it's just a contract match and two second round picks that's what potentially the knicks want for him and i've heard a couple of reasons on why the knicks don't really care to get much out of him first of all the new york knicks are gonna try and go into the off season with i think a lot more salary cap room again if you're going to extend cam reddish i think he's going to be asking for around 10 to 11 million dollars per season the knicks don't even want to pay him a dollar they really didn't like what they got out of him he hasn't really proven that he's worth that yet and i don't think he's really had the opportunity to kind of prove that he is necessarily worth the 11 million dollars or so per season as well a couple other issues he just Never really fit with the team. The GM wanted to trade for him, Leon Rose, I believe, but apparently Tom Thibodeau never agreed to it and didn't really like him from the start and hasn't really played him that much. He did play him at the start of this year, I believe, but it just didn't work out. I think what the Knicks' plan is, they really want to go into free agency with not exactly that much um, of these role players making that much money. I think they want to go into free agency with Randall on the near max, you know, Brunson on the near max and then Barrett on the near max. All three of them are not quite on the max, I don't think, but they're on the near max. And they've got players like Derek Rose, who I think is on 14 million, um, who will be expiring. Uh, you got Fournier that they're reportedly going to trade away. That will be another like 16, 17 million away right there, which I definitely think a team will try and take on because he is actually a really good shooter and you can get him for like nothing literally just hasn't worked in new york but he could definitely be a good player for another team and then reddish you save 11 million by just not extending him there but the cavaliers they don't care if reddish wants 10 million 11 million per season they're probably going to give it to him they have one of the richest owners in the world they are a team that is trying to contend for a championship and if they can bring in a forward who can play the three and the four who can maybe play good defense but most importantly help score i think he is a player that the cavaliers will definitely look to try and trade for a couple issues that i have with cam reddish although is he's not the greatest three-point shooter out there and i think that that's what the cavaliers are almost looking for is they've already got a shot creating guy who can defend that can't really shoot in karis lavert do they really want another one cam reddish i've heard rumors that they might just straight up trade for Cam Reddish, who's on minimal value right now, and then maybe trade Karis LeVert away for a first round pick or something like that, and kind of reset that, um, you know, player and position, because I don't know if it's really worked out with Karis LeVert. I think there's a lot of rumors saying that he might get traded. Not just that, there is a chance that Cam Reddish could maybe spark and be something better and more of a consistent shooter than what LeVert is. Of course, he won't be as good as a playmaker and defender, but I think he could definitely hopefully try and grow into those things. So I'm not sure what the Cavaliers are going to do. Although I do think they will have a trade offer for the Knicks. If the Knicks want to really get value out of Reddish, they could ask for Osman and a second round pick. You're not going to get Osman and two second round picks probably because there are a lot of people out there who would probably argue that Osman is better than Cam Reddish. 
Some might even say you might have to give up a second round pick to get Osman. And look, Osman, for some reason, I feel like would actually fit better with Tom Thibodeau. He definitely doesn't have the defense that Thibodeau likes, but I don't know, just something about Jetty Osman in that lineup, I don't even think would be that bad. And I feel like he'd be more inclined to give him minutes than like Fournier and Reddish and all that type of players. So I guess that makes sense in my opinion. That's something that I definitely think they might strive to try and complete there. The Cavaliers could offer up as well, like Dylan Winlar, um, uh, uh, the rights to maybe a Halifa Diop and maybe a second round pick. The Knicks might look at that saying, well, there's a, a, a you know, player's rights who, I think the Cavaliers took a pick 39 or something like that, who could be a really nice backup center one day. When eventually introduced in the NBA, plus a second round pick, plus you free up cap because you're not going to be bringing back Dylan Winlar. Maybe they look at something like that. It is... Really interesting, because I might get some hate in the comments by Knicks fans saying, why would the Knicks do this? It's really cheap. But that Knicks just don't really care at this point. They they have a bunch of first round picks, I think, in the upcoming couple drafts. They clearly saw it didn't work out of Reddish. If they can freeze cap and not have to extend him while bringing in some seconds, they're, they're gonna do it. It's just it's just the reality of things. They don't I don't think they think they can get much out of him. Um, and then, of course, there's a Dallas Mavericks situation. I doubt that they're off, going to offer really a first-round pick as well. So I'm not exactly too sure what's going to be going on right now. But, yeah, Cavaliers are interested in Cam Reddish. It's a little bit of a really interesting situation because we were also interested in him last year, and now we are back interested in him again. So I'm really interested to see how this is all going to go and kind of unfold. But, of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think the Cleveland Cavaliers should be trying to trade for Cam Reddish? Or do you guys think the Knicks shouldn't trade him? Of course, I would definitely really like to know. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. What you guys think about this potential move? And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.